edition of the Contractor Secret Weapon Weekly Podcast with your hosts, Dave Negri. This program is dedicated to helping contractors, remodelers, painters, roofers, roof cleaners, and business owners in the construction industry gain an unfair advantage over the competition. This program supplies you with information that the competition doesn't even know exists. This session brought to you by ContractorsSecretWeapon.com. Before we get into the conversation with you, I just want to do a shout out to our sponsors who help uh, promote uh, Contractor Secret Weapon and just some of the things that they have in store for you, our listeners. Hey, is your phone ringing enough? Do you want it to ring more with highly motivated and qualified buyers that contact you, the contractor, directly? No more waiting for the phone to ring. Just answer that phone. Best Home Services leads are dedicated to making your phone ring with motivated buyers that call you directly. There's no obligation to talk with them. Just go to ContractorSecretWeapon.com forward slash money. Fill out the form to secure your discount on the setup fee. Do it today. This special will not last forever. Check them out at ContractorSecretWeapon.com forward slash money. Running a small business is no easy task, and I should know because I had a service company for almost 10 years. I am the founder of a software called Radius Bomb, and it's unbelievable. And for all the listeners of Contractor Secret Weapon, we have a special offer for you to check out. If you want to send hyper-targeted, laser-focused, super-personalized postcards to your exact prospects using a map while sitting in your underwear, then go to ContractorSecretWeapon.com forward slash Radius Bomb, and we'll give you your first hundred postcards for free. Just go to contractorsecretweapon.com forward slash radius bomb. Hey, this is Dave Neary, and today I'm excited. Uh, of course, you guys always know I'm excited about uh, talking about business and experiences and growth. So I got Sherry Fitz today, and she's really great at uh, she's an expertise in building personal and business brands, creating smart marketing and social media programs to attract more business and increase revenue. She also helps her clients understand investor and participant behavior and offers productivity tips to help keep everything in balance. But today, you guys are in for a treat because we were talking a little bit before about um, a book she wants to write and uh, about being unforgettable. And uh, so we were talking about that uh, a minute ago, and we said, you know, uh, you need to be unforgettable in your client's eyes. So, Sherry, I am excited that we're going to talk about today, and I'm glad to have you with us. Thank you very much, Dave. I'm excited, too. This is fantastic. It was, seriously, uh, you and I think very similarly, and, uh, you know, I, I kind of live in a different world with the, my marketing stuff, but I trust my marketing gut, right? right. And uh, it was great to talk to you just briefly before we started recording, only because I found a... Right, a soulmate, a marketing soulmate. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny because when you start, you know, I, and I've talked with other people before, and we get on marketing, and uh, before, you know, we would do the green room, I would record that, and I had one guy. As a matter of fact, I had breakfast with him every once in a while, and uh, we did a green room for like an hour and a half before we even got into the podcast, and it was hmm. really great stuff, and uh, but it was all over the place so we couldn't use it but it was great for us <laughs> yeah well it's, it's nice to be able to find somebody who believes similar things to you and also knows to your toes that what we are talking about provide you know pr proves it that it works and that there you know it, it it works and that revenue can be increased and relationships can be deepened and and people can stand out and and my whole thing is be unforgettable. That's like how I sign my name and my emails and whatnot. Awesome. And that's exactly what marketing's supposed to do is help people be unforgettable. Right. And yeah. And I, I know that that's really an important part for you. And we talked earlier that we we're in basically two different industries altogether. But when you bring it all back together, marketing is the same. People mm -hmm. are the same. Relationships mm -hmm. are the same. So it really doesn't matter whether you're in the contracting business or you're the financial industry or you're a dentist or a doctor. Really immaterial because the basics really are all the same. Right. And I talk to consumers in my marketing job during the day. I just talk to them about different things. But I need to do exactly the same thing uh, for 
you know, the people that I work with that you're, you know, compelling um, your listeners to to do as well. It's this it, to your point. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and, and I know I'm yeah. sure that you've talked to people in your industry. Like I've talked to my people in my industry and they go, well, you know, my business is different. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, it might be. And that you know what? So. So they so people are different. And here's yeah. the one thing that I say when I the then it, this is Dr. Seuss. There's no one you are than you. And when I, you know, if we round wound this back to this idea of being unforgettable, one of the first places that I start with people when I'm speaking, because I do a lot of speaking and training when I'm speaking, I try to get them to understand that the, the more you, you can be, the more you will stand out and the more memorable you'll become because you're just not part of the pack. So, you know, yeah, you're not trying to be anybody else but you. Mm -mm. And you mentioned, you know, nobody can steal your wow factor. As you mentioned, you had a podcast on that. Right. But and so nobody can steal you. Right. Yeah. And so it's it, no matter what. Well, you know, we've said this three times now, but the marketing is the same. The what one needs to do for marketing is the same. It it could be just that we're our call to actions might be different. Sure little different nuances, you know, mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. call to action to, to my consumer that I sell to may be a little different than yours, but ultimately it's, it's, it gets down to the nitty gritty of, uh, just a couple of things. And I think that, uh, you know, we talked about, uh, the three different parts of the sale, um, you know, earlier and it's, you know, before the sale, during the sale and it's after the sale. And, uh, I think that, uh, uh, and you agree that most of the money is made in after the sale, but we seem to forget that. Mm -hmm. I do. And, um, and I think that that's where the heavy lifting is for some people. However, that's also the bar is relatively low, but no one wants to jump over it. So it is the place where people can out compete. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. And right. It's, it's I, yeah. Things. It's really little things when, when you really, I mean, it, yes, it, it can be uh, daunting to, uh, for some people to think, well, I've got to create another system. Mm -hmm. But this is, um, this is an ATM system. Mm -hmm. Well, I say this about marketing, that it's a voracious beast. It's the same thing about home ownership. It's a voracious beast. Yep. Some, something always needs to be done. I have a list. Yeah. I have a list. I want this and this and this and this, you know, and I, it was funny. I was at Pilates the other day and I said, I fantasize about cabinetry, <laughs> <laughs> right? Because I own a home and it's a small home and there's never enough space for anything. And I fantasize about cabinetry. I mean, so, so owning a home, right? Home ownership or whatever, just living in buildings is a voracious beast. Right, there's yeah. always something to do with everything. I know mm -hmm. it's amazing, isn't it? And then, and mm -hmm. then there's so much stuff that that uh, distracts us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, like as an example, and this just goes to the fact that some of our sales cycles are very long. In financial services, depending on the, the, the type of product, right, or whatever, the right. sales cycle can be up to two years. And I would imagine that that's the same um, in the contracting world. But, but uh, in, for my personal example... But well, I have been wanting to get the to get our fence painted for probably three years. And so I was talking to somebody and she referred me to this firm. And all I did was kind of put them in my back pocket and didn't do anything. And then I went online to one of the various online things and did some research and that they were also equally um, appreciated by other people that they had painted for. Right. And, I, and I called them and um, I guess they were having a little bit of... Um, reworking and I didn't really hear back from them. And it's probably because the systems between me and them was, was separated via this online system. And there's probably some hiccups, but I, I reached back out to them again this past winter to get on their painting thing for the summer. And they did a fantastic job. I mean, so they painted my house and my fence. Um, our, our house is, um, mahogany, and it needed to be stained. I mean, it's, it's gorgeous. It's very, very, very small, but gorgeous. And our fence is cedar, but it needs to match. Da, 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 da. 
And they did a great job. And I mentioned to the gentleman who was kind of running the work team and everything. I said, now I'm going to need you to come in and do similarly good job inside my house. And uh, I haven't heard from them. Wow. And that's, Nothing. And, and, and for all you guys that are listening to do that every once in a while, that's like throwing, that is literally throwing money out the door because mm -hmm. you asked them to come back. That you, you, you had already bought them as a mm -hmm. company and you were willing to do it again. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm already singing their praises yeah. and, and, and I always do believe that if I use those online resources like Yelp as an example for, for restaurants that I owe, I kind of owe it to the community, the Yelp community to put a review back in and sing sure. praises when I like it. I mean, that's just kind of how it works. And I'm, you know, I like, I use a lot of social media in my work. So, you know, and I, source those things. When I go to a new city, I open up Yelp. So anyway, I, I'm praising them. I'm totally ready to be, but, but they, they've, they've left me. I, I've lost that. They've lost that love and feeling. <laughs> 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 right. That's that's a, stuff. <laughs> that's, I love the way you put that. Feeling. Yeah, yeah they I totally did. That song out of my head. Yeah. Stuck in everybody's head now. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. But you know, that's so, so, but I would say that for the majority of businesses in, in, in every industry, that this is really commonplace because uh, I don't know why. I, I don't know. I, I, I wish I could put my thumb on it and say they do it because of this, or I just, it's, they're, they don't train themselves to be cognizant of, oh, that's a sale. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, uh, so it, it's, you just, we just wonder, you know, uh, really it's something to take a look at it during a new year is, okay, what can I do to, to make things uh, better uh, communication style amongst uh, our staff and, uh, and with our, our customers and how do we integrate that to, so that uh, everyone is communicating better so that we can uh, actually create more revenue by not being salesy, but by just following up correctly. You know what? <clears throat> I'm sitting here thinking to myself about this very particular subject. Yeah. And, and to the point of you teach what you need to learn. So I speak and I last year secured bunches of speaking opportunities. I love to do it. I love to motivate people. Uh, it's kind of like my zone of genius. There's a book about that. But, but you know, it, it's what I love to do. And do you realize, Dave, that this past fall was the first time I ever went back to my previous customers to say hello after four years of speaking? Wow. This past fall. See, we're so we're guilty. I mean, I, I've done it too. And, I, you know, I do it occasionally. But, yeah, we're all guilty. It's, it's – mm -hmm. and it's – and – and I, I'm going to put you on the spot. Why? Okay. Just out of curiosity. Uh, I don't have a system. Okay. I don't have a, I don't have a system. You know, I used to have a system. Um, and then I kind of shifted my business a little bit and, uh, not a little bit, a lot. Okay. I used to have a creative services firm along with speaking and I got rid of my creative services side and my employees cause I just didn't want them anymore. I just <laughs> I don't want to be a boss. Don't want to be a boss. I, I want to boss people around. I want to be I want to boss people around, but I don't want to be a boss. I so, <laughs> so when I shifted that, my systems kind of went hiccup, you know? Yeah. And, uh, but th I really, oh gosh, I'm so glad we're talking about this because I gotta, I gotta rattle my own cage as it comes to that. Because what does my, as an example, I work so hard to, and, and speaking is, is, uh, is similar to, to like my house getting paid, uh, painted. Right. You, somebody talked to me, I did a great job and then nothing. So, so and would they use you again? Well, you did a great uh, job and they probably gave you great reviews and I want to go back and talk again. Yeah, exactly. So I need to look at what's the tail end of, and I, what's the tail end of that experience and how can I keep that tail really long? Yeah. It, you know, and I do send out a monthly newsletter. So I blog okay. and I send out a monthly newsletter and people love that. And that's the way I kind of stay in touch. 
but there's a space in between that I still need to kind of give them a little bit more love. Usually I give them love the day of, I, I, I give away socks. I have polka dotted socks that I throw out to the audience to get them to participate in. And the people that sponsor me, they always get socks. Okay. Uh, but what's going to, what's going to be the love? I need to love them in a little bit more right after, because there's that, there's the reviews coming in, all that kind of stuff. I need to keep in, I can, you know, um, what little tiny bit of love could I put in there in between the event and my newsletter? That's what I need to think about. And, and the cool thing is, is, is that um, it doesn't have to be a lot of love. Like you just said, it's a little bit of love. What's mm -hmm. the, the little bit of thing? You know, it's like, I just try, one of my biggest things with, with a lot of people, I said, just, you know, and if you get a referral or, or just even, you know, when you shut down a job or something, just write a handwritten thank you. That's it. Bingo. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's, and, and you'll do more with just that than 95% of the other people in your industry, and you've wowed them. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. I mean, that's not real high on the totem pole for m what I would do, but it's a start. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, I agree. And to the point that, you know, I have systems in place that I need to kind of revive and change a little bit. I have a really cool postcard that says you knocked our socks off. Cool. Well, it goes perfectly with the socks that I give away and da 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 da. But yeah. And to your point, and, you know, I think we mentioned this at the beginning of our conversation. It's not that hard. It's not really rocket science. No, we just keep I mean, busy. Mm -hmm, because I'm on to the next thing. Well, what? And we all know that the best place for business is the people that have done business with us before. But I think we're so used to new, 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 new. Maybe that's what it is. I, I'm not certain. Yeah, I don't know either. Mm -hmm. It is kind of funny because I was reading a, sur uh, a thing the other day. It was, uh, I, I, would, I forget where it was. I've been in so many places just doing research and checking stuff out just for the fun of it on, on acquiring a new customer. Anywhere from five to twenty-five times more. Yeah. Wow. And then, then you know, a uh, then reactivating uh, an older customer, or just reselling them uh, again because you've got them, and so that you know, if you have an old customer, well, it's the time to you know, like in, in like in your industry, a new talk. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. or in my industry, a new service, mm -hmm. and they're gonna, or I even if you're. Now this is really cool too. Is and I've and I'm getting ready to do this with uh, my my contracting businesses. I'm getting ready to put out a little survey. These are some of the things I've been thinking about. People have been asking me about. What do you think about it? And just a survey to my customers. If it goes good, then I'll add it as a service instead of breaking it out mm -hmm. and spending mm -hmm. time and money and and doing it. I'll just ask what their opinion is. Mm -hmm. And now I've, mm -hmm. got, I've got the, the makings of a new service or an add-on to, to what we already do. Right. And, you know, I'm we're just getting off of the holidays. Right. And I'm also a chief marketing officer for a big company out of Chicago. And I didn't do a Christmas card for that firm this year. Because I just don't think that there's a way to make them unique enough. And my, no, I agree. You know, uh, mm -hmm, that's, my that's why I like Thanksgiving Day cards. I like St. Patrick's Day cards. I like, mm -hmm. have you ever gone into uh, that crazy, uh, uh, there's a crazy holiday calendar, all weird. Yeah, national, yeah, national calendar, yep. national calendar day. So it's like, it's, I think the national, <clears throat> it's on my door and I have it closed since we're recording, but like, like this national handwriting day coming right. up soon. I had, uh, once there was uh, national, it's not my fault day. Mm -hmm. So I checked, I did. Perfect. So, so what I did was, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. so what I did was I had buttons created mm -hmm. and then I just mailed them out. Oh, that's adorable. You know, it's not my fault day. Celebrate, mm -hmm. uh, whatever the date was, celebrate, it's not my fault day. Exactly. And you know, and I use, I use that as an example because again, I feel like this happens to be my talent. I love to give gifts. This is my oh, language awesome. of love. Right. This language of love is I'm a gifter. Yep. Okay. I'm a gifter and a hugger. And uh, and so I love to give gifts. Hence, so much joy I get by giving people these cool polka dotted socks, as yeah. an example. And um, so it's easy for me to just rattle through all of these things. Of, well, you could do this and this and this. And for people who don't think that way, 
uh, the national calendar day is perfect thing to look out because there'll be things, you know, there's a reading day, there's a chocolate day, there's a chocolate covered anything day. There's a national kindness day, which when I did have a team, we actually went out on the sidewalk and handed out kind bars. Um, we did a variety of things. The thing I'm thinking about next, I'm not a, you know, I, you know, and this is what I said to the CEO. I said, my job as your chief marketing officer is to ensure that every dollar I spend helps you stand out, not stand in. And I believe that holiday cards, unfortunately, um, is just a kind of a stand in thing. Right. Now, I understand that maybe some people feel strongly about it, then send their own personal cards. I'm totally cool with that. But if I'm going to spend resources, it's not going to be a holiday card. Maybe it will. Then we need to make it really cool. Yeah, it needs right? to be different. It needs to jump out at them and say, wow, this is. Yeah, and so, how do you be different uh, around Christmas yeah. and New Year? So what, it's just- yeah, what, <clears throat> what we're doing is we're doing a end-of-the-year letter to our clients to rem- to tell them all the cool things that we're proud of for 2017, uh-huh. so that's fantastic. And then for me personally, for my business, I'm going to send out a Chinese New Year card, which I always do every year instead, and it happens to be the year of the dog. And I have a Newfoundland, and she's with me. When I walk in the morning, I walk three to five miles on my three mile walk. She comes along. She gets whipped cream in the morning and ice cream at night. And I post pictures of her on Instagram and, you know, da, 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 da. So people know me yeah. and my dog kind of. Right. Right. Um, so it, I'm going to get a, me, me and Boo. You know, it's national. It's, you know, it's it's um, Chinese New Year and it's the year of the dog. And that's how I'm going to stand out. And it's pretty easy to do. Get a picture. Go to Canva. Burp, print. Burp, yeah. Canva's you know, awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just Canva. Canva. Do have you talked about Canva with your crew? No, I haven't. I haven't. Uh, oh, well, okay. So let's talk. Can we geek out on Canva for a minute? Yeah, because it'd be awesome for okay for mm-hmm. people looking to do a lot of their own material and not outsource it. It makes it so much simple. Go ahead, yeah, let's my, talk about it. Yeah, I start. I got into sales and marketing. I was a graphic designer, and I created. Um, 401k plan education and communication material. So if you if you have a 401k plan and you get a newsletter, that's what I used to do back in the early 90s. So I have the skill set in design. However, all the cool design toys I no longer have. Right. And uh, when I need to do something cool with design, you know, I can go into PowerPoint and do it that way. But Canva is a way, it's a, like a non-designer's dream. It is. So, so because cool. you can go, I need a postcard. There's postcard size templates already set to go. Mm-hmm. And if you don't, if you don't have a picture, you could search for a picture and you pay a dollar. So it allows you to create really nice, very uh, well done. And they have, they even have like sample postcards. So if you're like, I don't even know where to start. You could look through all of their samples mm-hmm. And think to yourself, okay, I want that. It might be close to what I want. Pick that, maybe modify a few few things, maybe change the picture. And you could get a postcard. What do you think? In five minutes? Yeah. I mean, easy, easy Mm -hmm. five minutes. And you can, Mm -hmm. and then, you know, you can make it any size you want too, because there's that Mm -hmm. other, that standard postcard, which is what, four and a half by six or whatever that case may be. But Mm -hmm. up in the top right hand corner, when you go in, you hit, uh, custom size, right? So you want to do a six by nine or eleven by twelve? It'll just boom. It's all done. You mark it. You send, copy it as a PDF or uh, PNG file, mm-hmm. and then you just send it off to the. Mm-hmm. It's sweet, and uh, and you and you can, you know, kind of customize it any way you want. So I do that with uh, a book cover. You know, if I do free reports or stuff like that, then I'll. I'll go in there and uh, I'll pull up some ideas and I'll just put up, do it, done. It's over with in nice. a few minutes. Right. And, and it's it's one of those kind of products that's a freemium, meaning you can get it for free. And then if you want to do something even more geeky, which is load in, if you have special fonts and if you have special colors, you can load those in. Right. And that's like $10 a month. But it, you don't need to. No. You, you, and, and I would say... You know, you could start with it. Also, if you have an office manager or somebody helps with you, who somebody in your team who's doing a little bit of everything, there's a, they, they even have a graphic design classes on Canva.com where you could take design oh, wow. classes. Yes. 
they just, it's fantastic. So canva.com is a nice way to show a little bit of, you can use it to create a little bit of love. Well, yeah, well, you know, it's kind of funny because I, I, and I didn't, this was, I did this way before uh, Canva was, I had made, uh, like when we do uh, proposals for, we, I own a painting company, mm -hmm. and we do some pressure cleaning and roof cleaning and stuff like that. So what I did was, and I got this idea from another ingenious marketer, is uh, I took a picture of my grandkids and put them on the front cover of the postcard, mm. made it, uh, it's just <laughs> like five and a half by eight, and it says, they're all there, and it says, our papa promises to take as good care of you as he does us. Mm. And then on the back, <laughs> some stuff, you know, that we would thank you so much for letting us come out and do, a, you know, an estimate for you and hope that everything was thorough, da 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 Do you know how much I, how much business I've gotten just for having my grandkids on the picture of a postcard? It's just crazy. Mm. And then, Goody. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Goody, because yeah. I don't have a grandkid, thank goodness. Um, but I do have a dog. You have a dog? Yeah. Well, you yes. got dog. a dog. Yeah, I've she's going to, I can dogs. totally do that. Yeah. <laughs> I can't use my kids because they're too old, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do that just for the fun of it. Here are my kids. No. The yeah. grandkids are cuter. Everyone likes the grandkids. Of course. Yeah. No, yeah. This has been a lot of fun. So let's talk about the one, let's just go back to being unforgettable again. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. did you, you you need to you if you I'll, after we get off the air I'll tell you I'll I'll, I'll ask you a question because I don't want anybody to uh, uh, to go well actually this is gonna be about three weeks so do you have unforgettable dot com? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can just mm -hmm. see if it's uh, available. Mm. I'm book? sure it's not, but um, there's some variation. I'm, well, I'm sure that I could totally get on being unforgettable, and thank you so much because I'm yeah. getting it today. I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 you know, I'm in front of my computer, it. right? Yeah. It's worth it to hold on to it. I've got lots of stuff that I'm going, oh, that would be a great idea. That would be a great domain name, and I'll use it somewhere else someday, so it's worth 12 bucks or whatever the case may be. Yeah, yeah. I totally am going to go check and see what I can do. I do have, <clears throat> you know, I do have um, a variety of other things. I, you know, I, when I talk to people, even if they're sole contractors and they have a different company name, I always say, get your own name, get your own name. And you, you to your grand uh, children's point, mm -hmm. you should buy their URL for them. Oh, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm, to keep somebody else from getting it. And then that's theirs. And you never know what they might end up using it for. But in their lifetime, it's likely they're going to need it. Like for even yeah. like think about their school projects or their uh, yeah, as they create a resume for their job or anything like that. Um, there you go. That's a little treat for yeah. you. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm writing this down so I don't forget it. Yeah. And talk about being unforgettable for your family. Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, just so many different things that you can be unforgettable with. But let's go back to business again. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. And and being that unforgettable uh, contractor or business person, and uh, you know, there's just not a whole lot that you have to do mm -mm. to be unforgettable. But if if like I'm saying, like before we talked about just that handwritten thank you note, go a step mm -hmm. farther. Mm -hmm. Just I have an idea. Go ahead. Yeah. My idea is like, as an example, you're a contractor and you paint mm -hmm. and uh, possibly in my contractors, they left the paint behind. But what about creating, what about getting a small little paint bucket um, and, a, and giving them the appropriate brush and maybe a little how to in case something gets dinged. Right. Because, right. you know, you're not going to repaint every year, but it could be that you need to do this or this. Here's what you might be able to use this for. Because our guys, you know, my garage, so my downspouts were a matte black okay. and my beams on my fence were a satin and my garage was this color and my house was this color, but they didn't even label my paint cans. Oh, but wow. imagine, but imagine how sweet it would have been if they would have gone dink, yeah. dink, dink in a cute little package to Santa oh, with a brush appropriate for stain and yeah. or paint. That yeah. might be a cool thing. Yeah. I know the people that that did my windows, 
They left behind clean window rags that they use and a fresh can of what they use um, to clean windows with. Nice. That was mm-hmm. thoughtful. Mm-hmm. Now that's, that's being unforgettable. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if yeah. they were smart, I don't know how smart they were. Did they put a, 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 their No, card business card? On, no. On the can? Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 uh. Too bad, because I honestly don't remember their name. I know. I know. Ah! Because so there's so many. If yeah. you are not. Get a sticker. Yeah. With your name on it and your phone number. If, yeah. If you are not unforgettable, then you are forgettable. Oh, yeah, indeed. You know, I it's funny because back to my other job. And um, when I created Shoe Fits, immediately I got those cards that say, you knocked our socks off. Immediately I got <clears throat> kind of like number nine envelope, just a a longer postcard right. immediately I got those and immediately I got gift tags gift tags nice little gift tags uh-huh. I also have shoe fits custom stamps cool so that I got on zazzle.com or something like that yeah right and those are delightful and you know you know whatever so I immediately got all those things and then fast forward to me being the CMO and I said we need gift tags and they're like what for <laughs> Because I said so. <laughs> exactly, because trust me, nobody does gift tags. Yeah. And they, and they are easy, and they make it. So we, so to that end, like as a contractor, I would think that you would probably either want a magnet that somebody could stick on their fridge, yeah. And or, and or a sticker that would go around that spray can or whatever. Or yeah. Get my email address. Get my or, email address. I mean, here's- yeah, get your email address, Get you've got your mailing address, you got all that stuff. And, I mean, what would it take? What would it take for uh, that window company uh, every three months to send you a can of spray with her? And uh, we were thinking about you, you know, put something like, we, we just want to let you know that we value you as, as our customer. And we were thinking about you and figured you may have run out of, you know, window mm-hmm. cleaner spray. And while we are thinking about us, do you know of anyone that could use our services? Mm, I love it. And then, then here's the other thing. I don't know whether it would work or not, but let me subscribe to getting a can of that spray every month from you. Yeah. Yeah. Because I need it. I know. You can tell my windows are bothering me too. Like I need to have <laughs> so, anyone listening, please. <laughs> I'm in Oregon, <laughs> in a big city in Oregon, and I need my windows done because yep. our house is small. We got skylights. I look up at them. They've had a year of goop on them. Yeah. Crow, crows hang around. Yeah. I need my windows clean, and I need some smart little, <laughs> some smart little person is gonna find a way to find me, and I need the inside of my house painted. Okay. Oh, and I have a, and I have a, I have cement floors in my house. I need to get them buffed and shiny again. There we okay. go. So, what, so, what, <laughs> so for anybody listening, what city do you live in? <laughs> I live in Portland, Oregon. Okay, yeah, so and we could totally test this out, right? Yeah, we'll see how this I works. Yeah. Gra- I heard give you a on, yeah, that is awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This has really been fun. It's been awesome just talking about on how to be unforgettable and uh, wowing your customer. And I really, sure, this has really been awesome. Thanks so much for being with us. My pleasure. Is there Dave. any last minute thought that you had on the back of your mind that you may have been uh, kicking around and say, I got to say, I got to say something about this? Mm-mm, <laughs> I think yeah, we've got some cool stuff rolling around in people's yeah, heads. And, and if they could just, okay, you guys, just do pick one thing. Oh, I know. I do have that book. Can I recommend that book? Yeah. Yeah. Um, if, <clears throat> another thing besides the National Calendar Day thing, Google that, get that, sign up for their newsletter. Sign up for their newsletter. That's a, that's a given. That'll give you some ideas. The other one, though, is a book by Chip Heath and Dan Heath. They're the brothers that wrote, um, wrote Made to Stick and another good book that I love called Switch, How to Change When Change is Hard. They have recently come out with a book called The Power of Moments. Power of Moments. And I'm listening to it on audible.com. But but there's this one section where they talk about a local bank and everything. They just brainstormed everything a local bank could do to create a moment with their clients. And that in that list, there's so much 
that your community could benefit from. Wow. The, um, so it's Power of Moments is the book. Cool. I know my wife and my daughter, they own a title company. And uh, so I'm always, we're always talking about doing some diff- different things, you know, wow things. And and uh, so she said, I, she says, you're not going to believe this. And I said, I'll believe anything. She says, one of our realtors the other day, she, she says, you know, I just love doing business with you you guys because every time i come to a closing it's like going to an event Mm, awesome i says get that on tape (laughs) (laughs) yes oh then you got to get this book for them yes because they'll just they'll put that stuff on steroids yeah there's so much we're starting to do now that to start off the new year it's just little things just little Mm -hmm. things that that will wow the customer and uh, make them stand out more than anybody else and that's really (laughs) what we want to do is and it's not about spending a fortune. It's about dominating your market and who you are. So, Sherry, how can uh, if anybody wants to get in touch with you or contact you, how can they do that? Well, my website is Shoe Fits with two T's. So S H O E F I double T S dot com. Shoe Fits dot com, and that's how you'll find me. Cool. Mm-hmm. I when I started my business five years ago. I was I, I, I didn't want to be Sherry Fitz Consulting because why would a marketing person have such a dull business name? And then I was working with a friend and I was telling him, I said, besides no one can spell Sherry and Fitz right because my name only has one R. Right. And when I when I call in <clears throat> to people and try to tell them what my last name is, Fitz, I say it's like your shoe fits with two T's. Nice. So that's how I came about that name. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yes. You, there's got to be different and mm-hmm. cool. cool beans. Thanks so much for being with us. It's been <laughs> awesome. Yeehaw. <laughs> Again, I want to thank you for joining us and investing your time with us today. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. And if you did, go to iTunes and give us a shout out. You can also go to our website, www.contractorsecretweapon.com and check out today's episode and leave us a comment in the bottom of the page. And if you haven't gotten your 15 secret weapon strategies to getting higher end customers, get it while you're at the website. Also, I want to thank again our sponsors for keeping this podcast alive for your profit making pleasure. And so go be profitable this week. Work smarter, not harder, and learn how to leverage your time and your knowledge so that you can be more profitable. Again, See you next week. Thanks for joining us for another weekly episode of the Contractor's Secret Weapon Podcast with Dave Negri. We would love to hear your comments about this episode, so visit us online at www.contractorsecretweapon.com and let us hear your thoughts. If you were listening via iTunes, please leave us a positive review. The more positive reviews we receive, the more other contractors will benefit from this show. Thank you, and see you next time here on the Contractor's Secret Weapon Podcast.